turn off light. To control lights using Google Assistant, you'll need to get them set up in Assistant settings. Welcome back. So in the last video, we created the connection between the Adafruit MQTT and our lamp, so I can turn the lamp on and off through a web-based dashboard from anywhere in the world. And I mentioned in that video I was going to make another one about using Google Assistant to turn the light on and that's what I'm going to be doing here so if you've not watched the last video you need to go back and watch it otherwise you'll be completely lost of what we're doing here. So Google Assistant can't connect directly to uh, the MQTT service broker or Adafruit it has to be something in between to make that connection and what we will be using today is IFTTT which is an acronym for if this then that so if something happens something else should happen. So let's have a look at the site. It's simply enough ifttt.com and you just create an account and um, log in. There's some setup you need to do obviously to connect your Google Assistant to ifttt. I'm not going to go through that today. I'm just going through the process of assuming that's all done and you're ready to go to start sending messages through your Google Assistant. There'll be plenty of other docs and videos that'll cover that in detail. So <clears throat> to get started we've got a, um, you can't see it because my video is up in the corner but uh, behind my face there's a button that says create and it's got if this so what are we going to do to kick off this applet so we just click on add and we're going to use the Google Assistant. So we just type in Google, click on Google Assistant, say a simple phrase. The most simple phrase is going to be turn on light. You can say it a different way, like light on or anything like, or turn on porch light, turn on driveway lights, whatever. And then once it's turned on, we want it to get some feedback from Google Assistant saying it's done. So I'll just ask you to say light is turned on. So I'm going to say turn on light and then once that's done Google Assistant's going to come back and say light is turned on. That's our trigger. What do we want to do then? We want it to connect to Adafruit and turn the light on. So we go to add, we've already got the Adafruit one here, send data to it IO and this is the one we created in the last video if you remember. So all you guys are watching this without watching the last video, you're lost. All right, so we've created this feed to send the data from this to this MQTT feed. And data we're going to send is on. So if you remember in the last video, we looked at the docs for WLED and the command to turn the light on was, funnily enough, on. Create action. Continue. Let's give it a name, I guess. So that's done and dusted for that one. But we also not only want to turn it on, we want to turn it off as well. So we create it again. If this. Say a simple phrase. Turn light off. And then Google will say to us, light is turned off. Create dagger. And then we're going to click on Adafruit again, send data to Adafruit, same feed, and we just want it to send the signal off. Create action. If you say turn light off, send the data to the feed which is fine. So there's my applets. So let's turn my light on. We'll just get a, give it a second to boot up. <clears throat> and then we'll just grab my phone. Hold down the home key. Turn off light. To control lights using Google Assistant, you'll need to get them set up in Assistant settings. I said the wrong thing. 
of course the phrase is turn light off turn light off light is turned off works turn on light light is turned on same as long as you remember what you wrote and the phrases you're fine turn light off light is turned off all right so it's as, as simple as that so as long as you've got your MQTT set up and your Google Assistant set up in IFTT you can turn your lights on and off just using the Google Assistant so um, there's a lot of Donomos here so there's lots of things that can not work so I wouldn't be <coughs> setting this up for a mission critical project that's for sure uh, because you've got the light and it needs power it needs Wi-Fi you need the Adafruit surface working properly you need the iFit surface working properly you need the Google Assistant service working you need all these things working properly for this to work so my, most of the time it probably would um, I set up a cat I made a cat feeder actually and I'll share the link um, in the video below which was I would say hey Google feed the cat and it would run a stepper motor and it'd feed the cat but the amount of times it fell over mainly because the firmware on the chip on the um, controller maybe wasn't wasn't up, up to snuff but uh, nine times out of ten it would not work because there's so many different things involved in finding out which one was which was not worth it in the end so uh, we just feed it like a regular cat but um, something to keep in mind anyway thanks for watching <laughs>